Hello everyone, this is Stephanie from Little Stuffy Big World here and this video is about how I'm using the travel memorabilia in my Pisa scrapbook album. So you can see all the travel memorabilia from this trip. It's not that much actually, it's a map, some business cards, coffee coasters, some serviettes, some bags that I have. And I'm going to show you how I'm using most of this in my album. This is part of a snowball effect that I'm doing. I have so much travel memorabilia here from different trips. Like this is from Sri Lanka, but you see Thailand and Morocco and our Northern Europe trip. And I also have a video on what kind of travel memorabilia you can collect. So if you need any ideas, just have a look at the links in the description below. Now for most parts, I use the travel memorabilia in the background in this um, travel scrapbook. So this is like the ticket from the Maud going to um, uh, Italy, so I'm putting that in the background or this piece of a serviette. I'm just cutting it to size so it's going to fit there where I want to fit it in behind the pictures. And I'm also using these tickets, they're pretty large and I use them in the background, you know, on our trip. This is part, the back of a um, bag that we got from a snack that we bought and I like the, the writing on it so I'm making it fit on the page. But what's absolutely looking fantastic are maps. Maps in the background are just, you know, an element for itself. I'm using some pattern paper, some scrapbook paper as a frame but it just looks perfect like this. This is a flyer that we got from the cathedral in uh, Firenze and un unfortunately I only got one example, you know, I just got one piece and I wanted to use several parts of it. So what I'm doing, I'm cutting a few parts that are going in the back but I'm also cutting one tiny little detail out like this logo from, you know, this, um, this uh, cathedral. So I'm fussy cutting around it so I can put it in front of the picture. So it's just a really, really small element and I'm probably the only one to notice but for me that's really important. Now I've also got this um, coaster when we went to a shopping mall and there's some, uh, you know, marks from the coffee that we had as well. So that's going in the front of that picture. And I also have this business card from where we stayed on our last night on the way back. And actually this business card opens up. So what you can do as well is making a flip with some of your travel memorabilia. So this is a business card from a roadhouse on our way down to Italy and I'm putting some washi tape um, on the business card um, in the place where I want to have it. Then I'm flicking, flipping it up and I'm putting some more washi tape on the other side as well uh, so I can turn it back and forth. But you don't only have to do this with like small elements or not in the middle of the page. So this is the other part, like the front part of the um, lunch bag that we had. So I'm putting it to the side and the washi tape is going over the edge of the page to the back where you can't see it. Now we had three bus tickets that we didn't use. So I'm gluing two of them down in the front and I'm making a flip of one of them so I can write something behind that. With really, really large um, pieces of travel memorabilia, like I had this map. Again, I only had this one, I only took one with me. So, a top tip would to take several if you're not sure which parts you're going to be using. So, I'm just using this clip so you can take it out of the scrapbook, have a look at it, and put it back in. You can also separate, uh, put things separately, like insert them in a specific place. So this is what I'm doing with this stitched card um, that I got. So I have these black stripes with uh, from another album that I took out and I'm cutting down four pieces at the same length with the same position of the holes. I'm gluing them back to back so it's a bit thicker. So what I'm doing, I'm going to be making a thick um, base, putting the card on it. Um, I'm also decorating the back of the card and then I'm uh, cutting the pieces on uh, where the holes are gonna go and then I'm putting that into the rings of that album. So when it's done it opens up because it's just like a separate page within this album. It's in a different size and I really really like this element. So this is like the only thing I did separately in this album. 
You can also do pockets or use your pockets. Like I got this really, really large like truffle bag from our friend and I really wanted to use it, but I didn't in the end. And also this blue little gift bag. You can use them as bags and put stuff in there as well. I'm doing that in a lot of my albums. Um, and I hope this helps you to make your own awesome scrapbook. And uh, yeah, just uh, subscribe to my channel if you want, uh, leave a comment, like, and link me if you do, so, uh, do some scrapbooks with the help of my videos. Have a happy and safe travel and scrapbook on. Bye bye.